So here's what happened. Charlie got sick with horrible epilepsy. He failed all the available drugs and brain surgery didn't work to stop his seizures. And eventually, uh, we found the ketogenic diet in a library. We put Charlie on the ketogenic diet and his seizures went away. When something like that happens to a family, there's this initial euphoria, and then all of a sudden you step back and you realize there's a world epilepsy population of over 50 million people. Most of those people start having their seizures as children, and only a small fraction ever find out about diet therapy for epilepsy. Um, and I can tell you from our experience, almost as horrible as watching what Charlie went through was figuring out that 90% of what happened to him was unnecessary. So Nancy and I figured that we had to do something about trying to raise awareness of the ketogenic diet. You had some knowledge that this diet was probably working back at Johns Hopkins, and yet you, yet you dissuaded the Abrams from, from attempting it. How come? Well, because I don't think we had exhausted all of the medical approaches yet. Um, there were actually still other medications that we hadn't tried yet. Man, there's something wrong here. There's something really, really, really wrong. I bring my kid to you people for help, and all you do is make him sicker. You give him one drug, and then he needs another drug to cure him of the first one. And then he needs another drug to take away the side effects of that one. And another one, and another one, and another one. I mean, he, he has had a rash, swollen glands, a fever, constipation, hemorrhoids, bleeding gums, my God, and he acts like a drunk, a, a, a zombie, a psycho. And it's not because of his sickness, it's because of your cure. So why are modern doctors ignoring this diet? Charlie's own doctor has a surprising answer. There's no big drug company behind a ketogenic diet, and there probably can never be unless somebody uh, starts marketing sausage and eggs with, uh, with uh, cream sauce on it as a drug. You're saying that in a sense, one of the reasons that the ketogenic diet is not popular at this point is because there's not a big drug company behind it selling it to the doctors. I think that's probably true. I hate to say that, but I think it's probably true. Johns Hopkins, they took 58 of the sickest kids, put them on the ketogenic diet, and almost a third of them had their seizures go away. Second day of the diet, her myoclonics stopped. And we didn't even talk about it. <laughs> so 24 hours in, and, and my mom came in the hospital, and I was so excited, I said to her, he only had five. And she was so excited, because we went down from 100 whatever to five. It was phenomenal, because yeah. the school was saying he was so connected, he was learning, he was uh, engaging, and he was communicating. I'm pushing the button, you know, to call the nurse, and I'm like bawling, I'm crying, I'm like, please, you guys gotta come and see this right now. And they come running in like, what's going on? What's going on? I said, My, he just got up and went to the bathroom. Oh, wh wh what happened? I said, well, he's never done that before. This, this is a miracle. It was like too good to hope for. So he had five. The next day, I think he had two. And the next day, he had zero. Too big, too swing. 